Welcome to iLecture Online, and here are some more examples on how we work with resistivity and resistance in physics. The relationship between resistivity and resistance is as follows. The resistance of any object is equal to the resistivity of the material, and resistivity is kind of the property of the material that uh, kind of describes how much it opposes a flow of current or a flow of charges. Uh, so this is the resistivity of the material times the length divided by the cross-sectional area. And in our particular problem here, they're asking you to find the resistance of a 20 meter long copper wire with a diameter of 2 millimeters. So when you think about a copper wire, that's basically a long cylinder, a long cylinder that has length L, and a cross-sectional area A. Of course, the cross-sectional area of a circular uh, or a cylindrical object is equal to pi r squared. There we go. And so then our equation right here, this now becomes the resistivity times the length divided by pi times the radius squared. Okay? Now, plug in the values. We were given the resistivity of copper. So this is equal to 1.72 times 10 to the minus 8 ohms times meters. Then we multiply the times the length. The length of this wire was 20 meters. And then divided by the diameter uh, or the cross-sectional area, I should say, which is pi r squared. And let's plug in values for r. So we have a diameter of 2 millimeters. That means the radius is half of that, 1 millimeter. And then we have to um, convert that to meters. And 1 millimeter is 1 times 10 to the minus 3 meters. And then we have to square that. There we go. So that's pi r squared. Good. Now with a calculator, let's figure out what that is. So this is 1.72. Uh, x a minus times 20 divided by pi and divided by 1 e 3 minus quantity squared equals and the resistance of such a wire is 0 0.11 ohms Oop, that's not a very good looking ohm symbol there we go and uh, notice that we have meters and meters in the numerator and meters squared in the denominator, so those cancel out. And uh, you can see then that the resistance of a 20 meter long wire, even though it's made out of copper, is not necessarily insignificant. Uh, compared to, of course, devices that we um, connect to the wire, this is probably relatively small, but it cannot be neglected. We do know that we have some power laws on electrical wiring, and there's an example of how to do that. Okay. On to the next example.